welcome back to Huffman Off Tape. So I recently updated my MacBook here to Mac OS Pixel Public Beta 4 and this is the new layout that I have and it basically came with quite a number of features and changes and I'm enjoying the benefits but I had an issue that I ran into that I would like to show you. So if I open Safari, as you know, Safari was updated and it came with quite a number of features and changes, right? And one specific feature that wasn't working has to do with translation. So you can translate your favorite website or any website that you visit that isn't set to your system default language. So if I go to, let's say a website like yahoo.far, uh, it's a French website. You can see that, you know, it basically opens in uh, French. Let's select a section that's fully in French because I had translated some of it. So you can see that, you know, all this is in French, right? And if I want to translate it to English, I basically hover over this translate option. And once I'm there, it writes here translation available. So you can see that if I click there, I can translate this website to English, right? So just give it a moment as you can see everything has refreshed to English. So if you aren't seeing this feature or this option here, I have a fix for you because I ran into the same issue and I managed to find a workaround. So just minimize Safari for now and then go to your system preferences. And then you see this section here that says language and region. So just select that and then go to where it says apps. And as you can see, I don't have any apps at the moment, but as you saw from my Safari here, I'm able to translate websites. So this is what I did before the feature was enabled on my Safari. So I basically added an application here and the application that we want to add is Safari. And by default, as you can see here, Safari should be set to the system default language, which is English, right? So it was like this before, but still I couldn't see the translate feature. So what I did was to add the language that I basically speak. So I speak English and we have two options, English UK or English Australia. If you have any other language that you basically want to set your Safari to, you can always browse the languages, right? And then once you find the language, just select it. And for me, I'm just gonna select English UK for the purposes of this video. And then I'm gonna click add, right? So add the language. And then it's gonna ask me if I want to relaunch Safari. And it's good that you relaunch Safari so that it makes the changes and implements, you don't know, the settings that you just changed. So just say relaunch now. And then basically the language has been added. You can close this page and Safari, you know, opens up. And if you were to go to any website uh, that you basically couldn't translate and if you were not seeing the translate option, let's say for example, El Mundo, this is a news website, I guess. And you can see that, you know, it's in a different language from the set language that I did, right? So if I hover over here, I have the translate option, right? So I can translate it to English and just give it a moment as this loads up here. And as you can see, everything changes to English. So this is a cool new feature that came with Mac OS Pixel. And if you have the public beta version of Mac OS Pixel, you can easily enable it. And if you are not seeing the translate option, that's how you basically do it. It's very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to go into your system preferences and then select where it says language and region and then apps and then select Safari and then add the language that you speak. And then from there on, you'll be able to translate any website that isn't in the native language that you selected. So that's how you do it. Once you've added, basically done this and refreshed your Safari, I noticed that the changes are permanent. So if I was to select Safari here and remove it, right? And just select relaunch and just wait for it to relaunch. You can see that it opens up on itself. Let's just make it bigger so that you see. Um, and if we go to the same site, let's say El Mundo, right? 
um, you can see that you know we still have the translate option right so if you were to go here despite having removed the english from the settings you know you can see that we have the translate option here so you just have to do it once it's like some sort of refresh for safari and once you do that basically you'll be able to have the translate option and you can also restart your mark and the translate option feature won't disappear so that's how you basically add this new translate feature into safari if you're not seeing it before i really like the new safari you know it came with quite a number of features and changes and for me i haven't really made the full transition to safari because there's some plugins and extensions that i use on my uh, Google Chrome as you can see I have this you know vidIQ extension and at the moment it's not available for Safari and a few others but with macOS Pixel Apple is making it easier for developers to basically easily add their extensions to Safari and it's overall more stable and has improved security compared to Chrome and also the system optimization and utilization is better with Safari so that's how you do it if you're not seeing the translate option then if you do this you definitely see it so if you like this video please leave a like and hit subscribe down below and thank you very much for watching stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video